HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the New England Sports Center here in Marlboro, Massachusetts. For Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey, today the 14-1-0 Hopkinton Hillers take on the 5-10-2 Oliver Ames Tigers out of the Hockamock in their first non-league game in a while. The Hillers are fresh off a nice Saturday win over Norwood, they ended up winning that game 5-2, to two, a big win for the Hillers, and it was certainly a great way for the Hillers to get back on the winning path after a tough loss in Westwood, Eric. Yeah, impressive game, uh, the Hillers had a week off, think about it, and I think they came back hungry as they showed in that game, uh, took advantage of a five-minute power play with some great offense and some good defense to kill off a five-minute major, have only one goal given up, so the Hillers look sharp, and that's the way you want to look getting ready to go into the final week of the season. They certainly do. Tom Nappy, Eric Carty, happy to be with you on the call today. Joe Frackleton on camera. Oliver Ames has played some pretty impressive hockey as of late. They had a few close games with a number of good teams, including King Phillip. In their last game, they lost one to nothing against King Phillip. And they are certainly hoping to pull off an upset today, but they will certainly have their hands full. Inactive for the Hillers today is Sean Walsh, and also I didn't see Gray Bailey out there, so I think he's getting the day off to get ready for this final home stretch of the season. Right now, we'll send it down to ice level for the opening announcements and the national anthem. Thank you. 
Dimension officials are Bill LaFleur and Michael Langer. And there you have it, the National Anthem, and we are ready for hockey here on this Monday evening in net for the Hopkinton Hillers. It's gonna be Colin Norid today, the junior. And also out on the ice, you got Tommy Hamblett, Drew Saparoshitz, Kyle Rogers, and Andrew Gilbert, as well as Pavit Mera. And we'll get you the Oliver Ames starters in just a moment. Out there for Oliver Ames, you got Ryan Gottwald, Duncan Pereira, Luke DeCilia, and Hunter Costello, and also Russ Carroll. And we are underway here at the New England Sports Center. Here comes Pavit Mera. Up the near side he goes, trying to track it down in the corner. He meets up with DeCilia. Pass over to Gilbert, there's a shot, and it's going to be wrapped up by the Oliver Ames goaltender. And in net for Oliver Ames, that's Owen Connor, a senior. And he's goaltended pretty well this season, a 2.51 goal against average. So not too bad for the senior goaltender for Oliver Ames. It's Hamlet trying to dig it out of the corner, and here comes the Tigers. Pass off the near side boards towards Carroll. Saparoshitz tracks it down. Over to Rogers, he leaves it out for Mera. Here comes Mera racing up the ice and it's deflected away, back to Gilbert. Tried to pass over to Rogers and it was stolen away by Duncan Pereira as he comes up the far side for the Tigers. And in case you didn't know, Oliver Ames out of Easton, Massachusetts. And Saparoshitz trying to get the stick in there and steal it away. And there's a misfire by Matt Nozilek. And it's a pass up the near side by the Hillers. Gilbert trying to get in there. Deflected away by Norid. A little bit of pressure by the Tigers. And we get a whistle. Our opening shift again, the Hillers, Tom, a nice play right off the face off with uh, Pavan Mera getting down low when they get that puck up top with a nice shot on net. Tommy Hamlet in front, uh, no rebound there so far. This faceoff comes with 13.45 left to go in the first period. Dan Kirk on the faceoff for the Hillers, tracked down by Costello. And both teams just kind of feeling each other out here in these early minutes. As Gottwald working up the near side. Trying to pass it over, getting in there was Weinstock. And the Hillers have possession as Quinlan works it up the ice. Over to Weinstock. He'll put it towards the far side corner and then try to track it down before Nozilek could get there. Quinlan also getting in on the action. Kirk over to Quinlan. Picked up by Nozilek for Oliver Ames. And a pass down over to the near side corner on a backhander by Manser. Hillers changed things up out on the ice. Picked up by Carraza, and he'll take a shot just a little bit high. Great play by Carraza. They had to keep that on at the blue line and then get a good one off. Aiden Walsh with possession behind the net. He'll send it out over to Barnes. And Barnes was looking for a wrister there. It was deflected. And he'll take another stab at it, and it is in. How about that? Quinton Barnes makes it a 1-0 game for the Hillers. Yeah, good play there. He's fortunate. The first puck went off the uh, defender's shin pad, came right back to him, was able to move around him and get a nice wrist shot off. Five hole. That goal comes with exactly 12 minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the first period. And grabbing the puck for him, so that must be his first goal of his career. Congratulations. It is a, indeed his first goal. Third point of the season. Gottwald puts it up the far side. Barnes will track it down in the corner. Pass up the near side. Carrazzo is trying to rush in. Vasilia trying to get to it in the corner. There's Carrazzo now. 
Peraza sends it back towards Barnes. It's picked up in the neutral zone by Jarrett. He'll put it around the boards. Celia behind the net. Getting in there is Quinlan who gets tripped up a little bit, leaves it out. Saparoshitz with the backhander over towards Hamblet. On correction, that was Hamblet earlier. And Hamblet going to be contested for the puck, and it's stolen away. Up the near side it goes, and we'll have an icing. Well, Hill is now, as a, as a player, you see that first goal go in and go through the, the uh, wickets on kind of a non-screen there. You're thinking now, shots on net. If he's going to give one up like that, chances are he, he might get to do it again. So get the puck to the net, and guys in front for those rebounds if they are any. Abbott Mera in on the faceoff, sends it back. And here comes the Tigers trying to work up the ice. Jake Gottwald with possession up the near side. He comes. He is in third for the team leaders in goals. And here's a shot opportunity and a goal with ease. Kyle Rogers. A nice feed from Pavit Mera and Kyle Rogers finishes it off. What a great play. And that started in the hill is in. Saparosius made a great defensive play. The defender, I mean, the uh, offensive player got around him, but he made a great stick check. Was able to get it off there and send them up on the break. That goal comes with 11.21 left to go in the first period. Nice pass by Mara over to Roger with a great shot. Here goes Mara. Look out. Sends it over. Saparosius, he'll take a shot, and it's going to be wrapped up. Landed in the glove of the goaltender, Owen Connor, after it went off his chest pad. Mero on the faceoff against Hunter Costello. Sends it back over towards Mansur. Oliver Ames trying to respond. Up the far side it goes. Sheamus will track it down. Sheamus puts it up the near side. Into the neutral zone, sending it back to Hiller's way is DeCelia. Over to the far side, Mancer trying to get there. And there's a wrister that's going to be deflected off of Sheamus. And Sheamus works it up towards Hamlet. Oliver Ames making a couple changes as well as the Hillers. And putting that in Oliver Ames' territory was Manser. Quinlan will send it out and it's going to be wrapped up by the goaltender Owen Connor. This faceoff will come with 10.23 left to go in the first period. Dan Kirk up against Lu Luca DeCilia. Quinlan trying to turn it around, gets it over to Kirk. Here comes Oliver Ames, pass over to the near side, got walled. And he'll take a check from Sheamus as he works it up towards the corner. And now working his way down is Weinstock. He's trying to leave it out for Kirk. Sheamus delivering a big hit. And Mansur catches up with it. He'll send it up the far side over to Quinlan. Quinlan. He's going to pass it back to Kirk. There's a wrister a little bit high there. Up the near side is Barnes. He'll send it over to Jarrett. Here comes Jarrett. Look out. And that shot just wide. Jarrett had a nice goal the other day against Norwood. Stopped by Quinlan. Here goes Quinlan. He'll put it towards the corner. And rushing in is Terry. Terry trying to get the stick in there. And back and forth we go a little bit here as Barnes sends it back down. The Hill is doing a good job in the neutral zone, Tom, not letting all of Reigns get anything going. And now the Tigers trying to work back up the ice, but catching up with it is Carraza. Carraza. And there's a shot, and it's going to be a little bit wide off the stick of Russ Carroll. No one there for Oliver Ames as Terry got the stick on it and send it over to the far side. It's picked up now by Duncan Pereira. And he'll send it back over to Cohen. Back towards the far side. 
And putting it around was Barnes. Jammed up along the corner now. Terry trying to get the stick in there. And it's going to be flipped up to the neutral zone, picked up by Carraza. There goes Carraza. There's a shot and a glove saved by Connor. Yeah, the Hill is just not letting all of Reims get anything established in their zone. Uh, a couple few opportunities that all of Reims has had it in the Hill zone. The Hill have broken them up quick and had nice breakouts to get it right back out and established down the other end. Mira on the faceoff for the Hillers. And he'll send it right back to Roger Saparoshitz. He'll take a shot at it, and then Mara got a stick on it as well, but it was turned away. He'll send it over to Gilbert now. Around the backboard it goes, jammed up along the corner. Mara trying to dig it out. Mara looking for a shot, and it is going to be turned away. And I think Connor thought about laying down on that one, but could not get to it in time. Here comes Oliver Ames. They have a break. Powers working up the ice, and it's going to be a glove save by Colin Orrid. Nice save there on a wide open break by Brad Powers. We'll have a face off at 7.43 left to go in the first period. Looks like it'll be Oliver Reigns' first shot of the period. They're up against Costello. And now here comes Weinstock. He'll send it over to Quinlan. Quinlan is looking for Manser. Manser flicks it up and around. Quinlan trying to get to it. Weinstock with possession behind the net, jammed up by Costello. Quinlan getting in there to try to help him out. Sends it up to Manser. Now over to Sheamus. Sheamus takes a shot a little bit wide there. Manser tracking it down along the far side. And it's sent up into the Hiller zone by Oliver Ames. Sheamus will get there. Here comes Sheamus, up the near side he goes. Racing forward, taking a shot, it's a little wide. Quinlan with a backhander. Picked up behind the net by Cohen. He sends it up the far side. Hopping back into the game for the Hillers, Aiden Walsh. Getting a stick in there is Carraza. Carraza trying to steal it away from Gottwald. Gottwald sends it over, here comes the Tigers. Sent over to the blue line. Oliver Ames having trouble just even getting a shot off. Terry sends it towards Aiden Walsh. Walsh leaves it behind for Carraza. There's a shot, a little bit wide there. Terry trying to dig it out of the corner, jammed up with Gottwald. And Oliver Ames gonna work it up the ice. Racing forward Perone, and he puts it a little too high there. Jared, good defense there. Aiden Walsh going to steal it away. Walsh working up the far side, finds Carraza briefly, and then it's stolen away, and then Walsh delivers a big hit. Jarrett will track it down. That one had to hurt. Barnes up the near side. And Hamlet lost his stick as an Oliver Ames player chopped it out of his hand, and Will we have our first penalty? Yes, we will. That's about the only thing that's going to slow the Hillers' breakout down right now is knocking a stick out of their hands. The Hillers doing a great job getting that puck up, moving it, headbanding it up, and getting it in that zone very quickly. So it'll be Matt Nigro heading to the box for slashing. Mayor sends it back towards Gilbert. Gilbert to Rogers. Rogers in the circle, back to Gilbert he goes. There's a shot, and it's going to be deflected off a Tiger as Duncan Pereira got in the way. Gilbert picks it up in the neutral zone. Sends it over to Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz goes up the near side towards Hamblet. Hamblet's jammed up with a couple of Tigers. To Rogers. And deflected back into the neutral zone by Costello. Mara picks it up. Mara. Racing up the near side, here he comes. Up and around the net he goes. And he'll take a shot at it, because why not? Back to the blue line, Saparoshitz sends it back to Mara. Mara to Gilbert, Gilbert with the one-timer and a misfire there. 
Rodgers picks it up, sends it over to Hamblett. Hamblett back to Rodgers now. Over to Gilbert. Gilbert was looking for Rodgers. Hamblett picks it up in the corner. Gilbert. Gilbert's just waiting for that perfect opportunity. There's a shot turned away, and then it is deflected in off the stick of Mara. Good did the net come out of place? I think they're going to count. It was after. It was good, good patience. Yeah, the Hill is moving the puck well. First couple shots were blocked off the shin pads, and that time they took the time, moved the puck around well. Rogers with a good tip in front, and Mira right there for the finish. That score comes with 4.30 left to go in the first period. A 3 0 lead for the Hillers. Dominating early on in this one. And that was Kirk up against Icelieb. Oliver Ames, they will certainly have their work cut out for them today if they keep letting the Hillers dominate possession-wise like this. As Manser takes a crack at it, it's deflected away off of Nozilek. Manser sends it back towards Kirk. Kirk along the corner. And over to Weinstock. Weinstock to Kirk, and Kirk was trying to slip it in. Seamus takes a stab at it. Sends it over to Weinstock. Sent out by Quinlan. There's a shot by Manser, and it's wrapped up by Connor. Connor there was using his defenseman stick there as he had lost his in a scramble in front early. Made a nice stop. Hiller is making a line change with 3.48 left to go in the first period. Joe Carraza in on the faceoff against Hunter Costello. Over to the neutral zone, and it's picked up by Manser, who sends it down. Luke DeCelia will get there with a backhander, but it's stolen back by Carraza. Carraza sends it out to Manser. Here comes Manser in the slot, takes a shot a little high. Aiden Walsh trying to get to it along with Terry. Jarrett, and Jarrett with a nice shot there, and it's turned away. Here comes Oliver Ames. Up the near side, Costello. Costello racing in. He'll take a shot, and it's turned away by Norid. Over towards Aiden Walsh. Good save there. Well, it's certainly a good luxury the Hillers have, having a few reliable goaltenders on the roster. Racing up the ice, Carraza. Pops it off the boards. Over to the trapezoid it goes. And it's going to be taken by Hamblin, who sends it back to Rogers. Now Mara takes a shot, and it's a little wide. Along the near side now. Stolen back by Hamblin. Leaves it for Mara. There's a shot, and it's wrapped up. The Hiller is continuing to just pound Oliver Ames with pressure. Just dominating the offensive zone. They're getting to the loose pucks for us. Setting up. They have the off wing coming down low, and they're getting plenty of opportunities to get them shots on net. Mara in on the faceoff for the Hillers. Two thirty-four and counting left to go in the first period as Saparoshitz will drop the puck. Oliver Ames trying to work up ice, just having a very difficult time doing so. Here comes Rogers, Rogers along with Hamlet, and there's a quick shot by Gilbert, and it's just wide. Rogers trying to set it back towards Hamlet now. Rogers will turn around out in front. Mara trying to get the stick in there, and it's turned away. And that's off the moorings. The referees don't see it. And the net is a little bit out of place. Up the near side we go. Here comes Oliver Ames. Powers working up the ice. He takes a hit. And it was taken away briefly by Kirk as he does battle with Carroll. And now racing up the ice, Carroll. And Carroll runs into all kinds of hillers. Gilbert along the far side. Gilbert tied up with Carroll a little bit. Kirk gets in there and takes the puck away. Puts it up towards Hamlet. Hamlet pops it off the boards. And knocking it back to the Hillers zone was Nozilek. Gilbert sends it over to Saparoshitz. Dropped by Nozilek. Trying to set it back up, but Kirk was in the way. Popping it off the glass on the far side. That was Ethan Cohen. It's jammed up along the boards. Kirk trying to slip it out. 
Quinlan gets in there, and then getting a stick in there is Manser. Kirk leaves it for Quinlan. Quinlan was trying to find Weinstock. Weinstock gonna race around the net. And it's stolen away by Nozilek. Kirk gets a stick in there. Nozilek trying to dig it out. He'll pop it forward in the neutral zone, but Seamus sends it right back, and the goaltender had to turn that away. Quinlan along the far side, approaching 30 seconds left to go in the first period. A 3-0 lead for the Hillers as Kirk trying to leave it down for Quinlan. Picked up in the corner by Cohen. Cohen tied up with Quinlan. And now here's Manser with a shot. That's turned away. Along the corner now. Terry getting in there. Terry and Quinlan trying to get the puck out of the traffic jam out in front. And it's turned away. Terry. Terry pops it off the side of the net. It's picked up by Carraza, and that is how the first period will end. Certainly a dominant period by the Hillers, Eric. Yeah, I think having that game against Norwood, who was probably the only team we've seen so far this year that could match the Hillers in speed, uh, really got their legs going that whole game, and they carried that right over this game because they have certainly been flying and, like you said, dominating in all facets of the game so far. After one period of, pay, uh, after one period of play, it's the Hopkinton Hillers 3. The Oliver Ames Tigers nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the Dentist at Hopkinton. The Dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back into the New England Sports Center here in Marlboro. We are ready for the second period. The Hopkinton Hillers leading Oliver Ames 3 to nothing. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi, happy to be with you on the call. Joe Frackleton on camera. And a pretty dominant performance for the Hillers to start this game out. The three goals in the first period were scored by Quentin Barnes, Kyle Rogers, and Pavit Mara. Mara with his 13th goal of the season, Rogers with his 21st, and then you had Barnes with his first goal of the season. The Barnes goal started off the three goal period for the Hillers. It'll be Pavit Mara in the faceoff circle up against Hunter Costello for Oliver Ames. And we are underway in the second period as Hamblick gets a stick in there. Hiller is working right to left across your screen for the second period. Gilbert will send it up and around. Hamblick picks it up behind the net. Hamblick looking to send it out. Finds Gilbert, and there's a shot turned away. Rogers with a secondary shot a little wide. Over to the near side corner it goes as Hamlet digs it out, sends it out in front. Mara takes a shot, it's deflected, and now Hamlet with a shot, and it's in. Again, right off the opening faceoff, Tom. What a great play by the Hillers. Won the faceoff. Jarrett made a great play, gaining the red line, dump it in, and then the Hillers forecheck. He's just been impressive all night, working the puck around, getting the puck right out front. It's Tommy Hamlet's 12th goal of the season. And it comes 34 seconds in to the second period. Along the far side, Gottwald puts it off the boards. Manser will chase it down. Pass back to Weinstock. Seamus sends it up. Gottwald turns it around. Could not get by Weinstock, however. Now Kirk going to race up the boards to try to get to it. Out of the grasp of Gottwald. There's a pair of Gottwalds on the team. You got number eight, Jake Gottwald, number two, Ryan Gottwald on Oliver Ames. Quinlan trying to find Kirk in front of the net. Along the air side, trying to send it over was Manser. And a nice defensive maneuver there by Sheamus to keep it away from Daniel Paul, who had an open break for a little while. Sent over to the corner. Sheamus picks it up. 
comes Sheamus working it up the ice. And that shot is going to be turned away as the Hillers make a change. Backhander by Barnes and send it up the far side. Carrazzo is trying to sneak it out. And we'll have an icing. This faceoff comes with 13-12 left to go in the second period. Joe Carrazza in on the faceoff for Hopkinton. Up against John Perrone. Terry. Yeah, he's going to be tripped up and then draw a push from DeSilla. And we're going to have a whistle. It's going to be a penalty. It's like a rough. See what it's on. And I believe the Hillers will be on the power play. Oh, I think Carrazza's oh, no. going to go. Oh. Going to get Carrazza. Well, big opportunity for the Tigers to try to get one here. Yeah, if they want to want to get back in this game, they're going to have to do it now with the man advantage. Rogers up against Costello on the faceoff. Saparoshitz, and we get another whistle. It's going to be a two-man advantage for Oliver Ames. Saparoshitz pushed Gottwald down. And he's heading to the box as well. And send him for interference. A little questionable on that one as the puck was in the feet of the defender. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that call. Rogers on the faceoff. Oliver Ames with a two-man advantage for the next two minutes or so. Sent over by De Silva to Pereira. And a nice defensive play by the Hillers getting it out of their zone. Well, the Hillers had plenty of practices on the 5 on 3 in the last game, Tom. So they they did certainly a, did. They did a great job of it, so I expect to see that again here. Racing up the ice, Costello, and he's tripped up. Along the near side's Gilbert. Rogers getting in there. Sent over to the high slot area. There's a shot turned away. And here comes Rogers. Good block by Sheamus in front. Rogers racing in, takes a shot, turned away. I don't know if we've seen the Hillers score a goal down two men. And we're going to get a whistle as Pereira comes across the blue line. Offsides will be the call. Well, you got 107 left on the latest penalty, 104 left on the first penalty. Dan Kirk, Will Quinlan, Cam Jarrett in there for the Hillers. As Hopkinton is down two men on the Oliver Ames power play. Connor leaves it behind the net for Carroll. Here comes Carroll racing up the ice. He'll be diverted by Quinlan. Carroll trying to send it to the top of the circle and it's turned away by Jerry. Pass over to the near side of Cohen who takes a backhander at it, but Kirk got in the way. Up towards Cohen. Cohen sends it forward. Quinlan there to turn it away. Up the boards it goes. Cohen trying to take it back into Hiller's territory. Seven seconds left on one of the penalties, 10 on the other, and counting. And it looks like the Hillers are successfully going to kill off a two-man power play. You know, all of Reims, they didn't even get uh, any shots on that power play at all. They didn't even have any good looks. Impressive defense there by the Hillers as Sheamus sends it off the boards. Pereira picks it up. Over towards Cohen. He'll send it down to the neutral zone of Costello. Costello with the pass over to Manginaro, and we get a whistle off sides. This faceoff will come with 10.35 left to go in the second period. 
And we want to remind you, HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton, founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003. The dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Along the far side, trying to get in there is Gottwald. And it's going to be briefly taken by Mara, then he lost it. Over to the near side corner it goes. Perone trying to track it down for Oliver Ames. Rogers with a nice hit on Manjanaro. Sent out in front by Hamblet, and then it was popped. Did that hit the crossbar? Sheamus puts it behind the net. Mara takes a shot, turned away. And now Oliver Ames trying to break up the ice here. He's got Wall trying to control along the far side. Hamblet is able to get a stick in there. Sheamus. Sends it over to Barnes. And now Barnes up to Mara. Mara has all kinds of speed. Look out, here he comes. There's a shot and it's a loose puck and it's turned away. Able to get the stick in there and save the, the day was Gottwald. Here's Carroll. Takes a shot and a nice save there. Puck still loose. And the Hiller is able to clear. Hamblet sends it up towards Gilbert. Gilbert racing in now. Up and around the net he goes, takes a shot, and it's going to be a glove save by Connor. Good end to end action here. That last break, Gottwell fell down at the blue line. Maybe we'll let Mira come in all alone. It just broke off the goalie's pads, but Gottwell recovered, was able to get that puck out of there before any Hillers could get to it. Curtis Terry on the face off for the Hillers. Terry. Sends it back towards Gilbert, who takes a shot a little wide to the left. Also in the game is Jeff Toko for the Hillers. Excuse me, make that Reese Griffiths. And that'll be wrapped up. Well, Toko and Griffiths are in the game for the Hillers. I expect just about everybody on the roster that's available to get some playing time today. Hopkinton leading four to nothing with 8.55 left to go in the second period. Curtis Terry on the faceoff for the Hillers against Cam Perot. Sends it back towards Saporoshitz who will wrap it around. Toko trying to dig it out of the back of the net. And can the Oliver Reims Tigers get some momentum going? Saporoshitz takes a big hit along the corner. And here comes Aiden Walsh. Walsh racing up the ice. And he'll take it up and around. And trying to leave it out in front for Terry, but Terry was jammed up along the far side now. Racing to the puck is Manser. Sends it over to Saporoshitz. Just past the reach of Terry to an unlisted number 21. We'll try to get a name on that. 21 for Oliver Ames. Here comes Duncan Pereira. Pereira with a shot and it's in. A nice break and shot by the senior forward for Oliver Ames and it's a four to one game. They made a nice move at the blue line there and they will snap off a quick wrister. Just get it through the pads. The Oliver Ames goal comes with 7.58 left to go in the second period. Dan Kirk in on the faceoff. Barnes taking it up the far side. Barnes trying to send it out to Weinstock there. And it was turned away. Popped up the near side, Sheamus gets a stick in there. As he takes a hit from Pereira. Kirk sends it back towards Sheamus, just past his reach, but he's able to get to it. And send it up towards Weinstock. Off the stick of Weinstock. Oliver Ames trying to pick up a little momentum here after they find the net for the first time today. Quinlan. Quinlan between two Tigers takes a shot a little high. Kirk jammed up along the corner. Kirk gets to the puck and now jammed up by a couple of Tigers. Along the near side in the corner. Trying to dig it out is Kirk. 
up towards Barnes. Barnes sends it forward to Quinlan. And Quinlan with a slight misfire. It's poked out by the goalie, Owen Connor. Quinlan sends it over. Kirk takes a shot a little wide. Picked up by DeCilia. Silla sends it up to Carroll. Weinstock trying to rip it away. Silla takes a big hit from Mera behind the net. Mera trying to dig it out of the corner and the official got tripped up there, right in the middle of the action. Hill is able to make a full forward line change too and still keep the puck in. Along the near side, Hamlet sends it out to Sheamus. Sheamus a little tripped up, able to get to his feet, send it to the corner. Rogers trying to dig it out. Now Hamlet getting in there. Mara takes a shot right off the goaltender. It goes. I don't think Connor even saw it coming. Oh, hit him right between the eyes, right off the mask. We'll have an icing with 5:51 left to go in the second period. Well, the Hillers they gave up one goal, but certainly in the last couple minutes. Back to their dominant ways in this one. Yeah, it's really been about the four check for them all season long. They've done a great job of keeping pucks in, extending plays. Carraza on the faceoff. They will send it back. Jarrett trying to get the puck along the far side. Here comes Oliver Ames and quickly diverted is Pereira. Jarrett sends it up over to Carraza. Carraza going to be tripped up along the far side. Here comes Aiden Walsh coming in, and he's tripped up. And now Gilbert takes a shot, and then it's put in by Terry. A little bit of justice there, as that very well should have been interference on Oliver Ames. But nice follow-up by Terry going right to the net. Nice work in front. I think that's going to be uh, Terry's first goal of his career. Is it grabbing the puck for him, too? You are correct. That is his first goal of the season, also his first point of the season. A 5-1 lead for the Hillers with 5.30 left to go in the second period. That was a good feed by Gilbert right yeah, to good Terry. good work. Even though he was taken down by two guys, still able to manage to get in there to get the puck. Sheamus sends it up towards Kirk. Weinstock gets the stick in there. Quinlan trying to knock it back. Quinlan sends it back towards Kirk. Kirk out to Quinlan. And a little too much mustard on that pass. Sheamus sends it over to Weinstock. Weinstock takes a shot, turned away. Out in front of the net, Quinlan sends it over to Manser. Back to Quinlan now. Quinlan puts it towards the corner. Now Manser going to take a shot at it. Went right off. A Tiger as in front of him was McCarthy. Oliver Ames trying to work it up the ice as John Perrone desperately backhands it into the Hiller zone. Answer up to Weinstock. Oliver Ames in the midst of a change. Kirk is going to be turned away from the puck. And then the Tiger that turned him away tripped up as Kirk will send it around. Along the near side. Saporoshitz able to kick it with his skate towards Hamblet. And now here comes Gottwald. Zaporoshitz trying to knock it up the ice. A misfire there, but Mara is there to take care of things as Rogers goes back to Mara. And here comes Mara. Look out. Pavit Mara trying to put on the moves. Mara sends it out. A shot by Hamlet a little bit wide. Rogers back towards Mara. Over to Griffiths. Sends it over to the far side to Saporoshitz, who lost it. And here comes Oliver Ames, a quick break here. Griffith's going to get in there. A nice save by the goaltender as Pereira was able to get the quick shot off. And now back into the danger zone, and the net came out of place. A good two on one by Oliver Ames. Made a nice pass over, and Nora was right there. He said perfect positioning. Nice pad save. Colin Nord has had some good saves today. 23 shots on goal for the Hillers, five for Oliver Ames. 3.36 left to go in the second period. Hillers up five to one. Carraza sends it over to Gilbert. Nice face off by Carraza. Gilbert racing up the ice, pops it into the corner and around. 
Terry delivers a hit along the far side. And there's a quick shot by Barnes. Gilbert along the near side corner will take it around. Gilbert takes a shot from the circle. It's turned away. Sends it over to Aiden Walsh. Walsh back to Gilbert. There's a wrister a little high. Carrazza along the near side. Sends it towards Terry. Carrazza catching up with it along the corner. Sends it behind the net, looking for Aiden Walsh. There to interfere was Nozalek. And now it's back to Terry, takes a quick shot a little wide. Terry looking for uh, another goal today. Jammed up along the near side boards. And here comes Oliver Reams racing up the ice. Cohen, he'll take a quick shot, and Norid turns it away. Another good save by Norid. Walsh racing up. There's a shot. And it is going to be turned away. Walsh was able to hang on to possession on the rebound and took it around the net. And then was diverted by Gottwald. Saporoshit sends it back up the near side boards. Cohen gets in there for Oliver Ames. Jammed up along the boards. Quinlan sends it over to Jarrett. Jarrett racing up. Jarrett with the backhander pass and the shot by Quinlan turned away. Sent over by Mara. Jarrett goes back to Kirk, rather, and Kirk takes a shot. We get a whistle. We're going to have a penalty here. On, I think the Hillers are going to go in the offensive zone for interference. A little battle in front. And Quinlan will head to the box for the next two minutes. 150 left to go in the second period. Oliver Ames back on the power play. Kirk up against Costello on the faceoff. Sent up the near side. And a nice job by Weinstock getting it away from Perone. I don't think all of Reims is going to go now. Goaltender came way out there. Even things up here for the last minute and a half. Back to even strength we go. Getting to the boxes. Cameron Perone. Dan Kirk in on the faceoff. Up against Duncan Pereira, sends back to Jarrett. Jarrett with a shot, turned away. Saporoshitz, up the near side he goes. Back to Saporoshitz now, he'll take a shot, a little wide. Nozalek able to get there and send it over to the far side. Kirk trying to steal it away. Nozalek. So we are at four on four hockey for the remainder of the second period and a little bit into the third. Saporoshitz over to Weinstock he goes. Weinstock takes a hit. Picked up behind the net by Costello. Weinstock trying to steal it away from Costello. Oliver Ames trying to get some kind of momentum going. They have not been in the Hillers defensive zone a whole lot at all in this period. Sent back towards Hamblet. And now doing battle, it's Rogers up against Costello. And Oliver Ames able to maintain possession. Picked up by Manser. Manser racing up the ice. Sends it over to Rogers. And now Hamlet takes a shot and it's turned away. Great pass and play there. Good setup. Seamus sends it over. There's a quick shot and it's going to be turned away. That was off the stick of Manser. Hamlet jammed up along the corner. Over to Manser it goes. 10 seconds and counting left to go in this second period. Nozalek able to catch up with it behind the net. Sends it over to the near side boards, and Hamlet is looking for his stick. And that'll do it for the second period. The Hillers outscoring Oliver Ames in the period. Two to one, and they lead it. Five to one heading to the third. The Hillers just continuing to dominate, Eric. Yeah, doing a great job. You know, they gave up a couple two-on-ones, which uh, I'm sure they can tighten up on. But other than that, again, just a total domination of 
27 to 6 in shots through two periods pretty much tells the story there. Well, when we come back, it'll be time for the final 15 minutes. After two periods of play, the Hopkinton Hillers leading Oliver Ames 5 to 1. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Cardi on the call, Joe Frackleton on camera. And we are just about ready for period number three. The Hopkinton Hillers leading Oliver Ames five to one. The Hillers put up three goals in the first period. You had Quentin Barnes with 12.30 left. Kyle Rogers with 11.21 left, assisted by Pavid Mera. And then Pavid Mera had a goal, assisted by Tommy Hamblett and Kyle Rogers with 4.30 left. And then right at the start of the second period, Tommy Hamblett added on to the Hillers' lead 34 seconds in to make it a 4-0 game at the time. And then Oliver Ames got a goal of their own with 7.58 left. And then you had Curtis Terry with his first game, with his first goal of the season at 5.30 left to go in the second period. And that is where we are now, a 5-1 lead for the Hillers. And we will be at four on four for the next 10 seconds. And then the Hillers will have a man advantage for nine seconds. A good game today by the Hillers. They are certainly uh, playing pretty dominant today against this Oliver Ames team. Looks like the Hillers are uh, switching goalies too here for the third period. No, well, Colin Norrid still in there. Well, better put my glasses back on. <laughs> Jack Lang on standby, I'm sure. The Hillers have their regular season home finale on Wednesday night against Holliston. It'll be our last regular season broadcast of the year, but of course we'll follow the Hillers throughout the playoffs. And Hopefully, we'll be at the Garden again, Eric. That sounds good. Yeah, I think I said at the beginning of the broadcast there, the last week of the season, last week of the season for us, but of course, the Hillers uh, have a tournament next week down in Martha's Vineyard, a couple games down there, too, and finish up the, uh, the year. Well, a slight delay to start this third period. I think they're uh, waiting for the, waiting the, uh, on the timekeeper. Oh. Must have had to go out for supper, too. <laughs> He actually is walking back down. It appears he has food. <laughs> I think you got to dock his pay after that. <laughs> you think they deliver to him being a Rick employee. Right? Kyle Rogers in there for the Hillers, along with Drew Saparoshitz, Andrew Gilbert, and Tommy Hamblett. And we are ready to go. The scorekeeper is back. Rogers up against Hunter Costello on the faceoff, and we are underway in the third period. Sent up by Nozilek, and right off the bat, we'll have a whistle. And we will have a faceoff in the Oliver Ames zone. Rogers up against Costello. Sends it over, and it's intercepted by DeCelia. DeCelia takes a shot and a glove save by Norrid. Certainly uh, some mustard on that shot, but a nice save there by the junior goaltender. 
And in one second, we'll be at five on five hockey. Yeah, all of Reigns right now is going to try to throw just everything at the net. Mare up against Powers. Mare sends it forward. Backhanded up into the Hillary zone by DeCilia. Mara with possession. Popped off the boards by Saperoshitz. Oliver Ames looking for a shot here, and Nord will turn that one away off the stick of Gottwald. Gottwald trying to dig it out from behind the net. He's tied up with Gilbert, and it's sent over by Mara to the near side. Here comes Gilbert. Gilbert gets by DeCilia, and now DeCilia Going to knock him around a little bit. Gilbert's got a nice shot off, and then Rogers with a secondary shot, a little bit wide. Hamblet trying to send it out, but was diverted by DeCilia. Hamblet gets in there and leaves it for Mara. Mara towards Gilbert. Gilbert with a shot out in front of the net. Hamblet gets a stick on it, and it's in. Great play there as Kevin Mara made a great look. He a saucer pass. Over to the defenseman, and a nice shot in front of Tommy Hamlet right there for the rebound. Tommy Hamlet with his second goal of the game. Makes it a 6-1 to one Hillers lead with 13.47 left to go. Andrew Gilbert with a nice carry in there to get the play started. He's got a real smooth skater, able to control that puck, get it in deep to start that whole play off. And I'm being told that was his 100th point for Tommy Hamblin. So certainly a big congratulations to Tommy Hamblin for his 100th point as Oliver Ames is going to score a point of their own. It's a 6-2 game. On that shot, it was Hunter Costello. You know, Hill is over the past few years that really had the, some uh, scores come up for for years, it was only four or five kids that were on that 100-point list. Uh, some of them when I started coaching back in the 90s, but the last four or five years, we think they've added, almost uh, doubled it to up to eight now. Graza on the faceoff for the Hillers. Barnes sends it over to Aiden Walsh. Popped off the boards into Oliver Ames territory it goes. Carraza races around. Jammed up along the backboards, able to get out of it and send it up the near side towards Barnes, now it's stolen away by Gottwald. Gottwald on a break up the ice, takes a shot and it's in! The game's not over yet, it's a six to three game. No, no quitting all of range right now. They're coming with everything they got, taking shots. That's what they're doing, putting them on net. Two goals for Oliver Ames in the past 30 seconds. They had one goal at 13.30 left, and now another with 13.06 left. Sent up by Gilbert to the backboards it goes. Hamlet over to the near side. Carroll, it's tied up with Rogers. Hamlet sneaks it out. Mara takes a shot, and it's wrapped up. Owen oh, Connor with a good save there on the Mara attempt. Well, you can't take your foot off the gas, Eric. No, not at all. All the Rams just said they were, uh, you know, they were down three or four at a time here, but they uh, just get themselves right back in the game, taking some long shots so they're getting in. And here comes the Tigers once again up the far side. Pereira, Saperoshitz will turn it away. Sent up by Gilbert. Tracked down by Nozilek. Rogers trying to get in there. Oliver Ames maintaining possession pretty well in the last couple of minutes. Rogers sends it over to the corner to Mara. Mara sends it out to Saperoshitz, and it got by him, but Gilbert there to pick it up. Off the boards goes Gilbert as the Hillers make a change. Approaching 12 minutes left to go in the third period. Cam Jarrett there to intercept. Jarrett racing up into Tigers territory. He's tripped up and will slam into the corner. Quinlan gets a stick in there. And we're going to have a whistle. I think 
We'll see the Hillers settle down a little bit here, but a little bit tighter on the defense. Get the forwards back a little bit more now. Don't give all of range any more chances from the outside. This face-off comes with 11.53 left to go. Kick forward by Jarrett. Over to the neutral zone, just past the reach of Gottwald. A good diversion there by Sheamus. Weinstock sends it up. Quinlan there to pick it up. And playing keep away was Perone. Jarrett trying to get in there. Oliver Ames looking for another shot, trying to sneak it in, and he couldn't get it off his stick. Net off the moorings. That was Perone who had a pretty nice breakaway from a pair of Hillers to have that opportunity to come around the net and get the shot off, but just a misfire. Yeah, he had the right idea, and actually had all the had somebody open out front, just couldn't get the puck out there. Carraza up against Costello. Here comes Gilbert. Sends it up over to Terry. Terry racing in. He'll be diverted by Gottwald. Over towards Gilbert along the far side now. Aiden Walsh jammed up behind the net. And now over to Carraza. Carraza looking to take it down, and it's going to be stolen away. Carroll sends it flying into the Hiller zone. Pereira trying to pick it up in the corner. He'll send it back around. And now it'll be dropped by Cohen. Racing up the ice, Aiden Walsh. Walsh sends it out to Saporoshitz. Saporoshitz with a backhander a little bit wide. Carraza sends it along the backboard towards Terry now. Back to Carraza who sends it out to Saporoshitz. And a shot and save by Connor. It was with a good puck movement there again, able to send that puck around and then set the defenseman up. We'll have a face-off with 10.36 left to go in the third period. A 6-3 Hillers lead. Oliver Ames showing some signs, uh, some signs of life in the last few minutes. Cohen sends it up the far side. Jarrett trying to turn it back around. And now with a potential break, here's Gottwald takes a shot, turned away. Gottwald's had some nice looking breaks for Oliver Ames and certainly has some good speed coming up the ice. Jammed up along the corner now. Gilbert was trying to dig it out. And Rogers will knock it up towards Hamblet, who's racing in to try to get it away from Nozilek. Hamblet sends it over to Sheamus, who takes a hack at it, but there to take it away is Perone. Perone with a shot, and it's in! Unbelievable! Three straight goals by Oliver Ames, and they are right back in this game. <clears throat> defensive breakdown for the Hillers here. They're getting caught with a couple two-on-ones. Make sure they're getting those pucks in deep. Looks like the Hillers will take a timeout here, get everybody settled down and back on the same page. That was Cameron Perrone on the goal with 9.52 left to go. And what do you know, it's a 6-4 to four game. Didn't see this one coming, Eric. No, Oliver Ames has uh, really picked it up this period. They're getting some good breaks. They've had to, uh, the Hillers don't lose many face-offs, but uh, they did lose a face-off there, and Hill, uh, Oliver Ames able to use a set play to get that last two-on-one. And, well, we have a timeout. Gives us a chance to remind you, HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services, including comprehensive dental care, same-day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, Implant Dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. 9.52 left to go in this third period, but this game is now a long way from over. The Hillers have given up three straight goals to Oliver Ames. And the Tigers have put up those three goals within the last four minutes or so. Dan Kirk on the faceoff for the Hillers, up against Hunter Costello. Along the far side, Gottwald trying to pick it up. Quinlan racing in. Over to DeSilla. Tigers trying to work it up the ice once again. Gilbert will track it down along the far side boards. Puts it around to the near side, jammed up in the corner now. Saporoshitz getting in there. Kirk takes a hit. And now Weinstock trying to break free with it. 
Back and forth we go along the neutral zone. And it's sent up by DeSella, turned away by Saporoshitz. Quinlan sends it up into Oliver Ames territory. Quinlan along the far side, sends it back towards Kirk. Kirk able to knock it towards Weinstock, and he's trying to pick it up in the corner, but jammed up by Gottwald. Gilbert trying to dig it out. And that puck just jammed in that corner, but Weinstock finally able to break it free towards Quinlan, and then it's going to be knocked out of play off the hand of Kirk. Good work there by the Hill, especially Dan Kirk. Trying to keep that puck down low and keep it tight up down on their end. Run some clock off. And this face-off comes with 8.45 left to go. Joe Carraza in on the face-off for the Hillers. Sheamus to Carraza in the corner. We'll send it around to Terry. Terry. Trying to center, center it up towards Carraza. Here comes Oliver Ames on a break. A shot and a misfire there, a little bit wide. Up behind the net, Cam Jarrett. Jarrett with the back handed pass. Gets past Nozalek as Carraza races down. Here comes Aiden Walsh. And Walsh turned away by Gottwald. Terry along the near side trying to get to the puck. And Cohen was able to get there first, but now Jarrett sends it back. Over into the Oliver Reams defensive zone. 7.58 and counting left to go in the third period. In this game, throughout this third period, a whole lot more well balanced than in the first two periods. Oliver Ames right back into it as Rogers is tripped up along the far side. Saporoshitz tracks it down. Over towards Hamlet. Hamlet taking it up the near side, looking for a shot. Sends it out, and that shot by Rogers just wide. Nice play by Tommy Hamlet. Rogers jammed up by Gottwald, and turned away by Carroll. Gilbert sends it back down. Picked up by Cohen. Cohen skating along the trapezoid, takes it up. And he'll take a big hit from Mera. Just was able to get that pass over. And now Hamlet trying to steal it away from Gottwald. Oliver Ames trying to form another break here. It was Costello and Pereira working up the ice. The Hillers uh, certainly doing a better job at avoiding those Oliver Ames breaks. And we're going to have a penalty here. That's going to be tripping. Yeah, that's the last thing the Hillers needed now to go on the kill. Tommy Hamlet will go for the next two minutes. And Oliver Ames is going to have a power play opportunity with 6.49 left to go in the third period. Dan Kirk up against Hunter Costello. Sent up by Pereira. Along the near side corner, now back to Pereira. Pereira trying to dig it out as Quinlan got in there. And now a shot here turned away. Good save there by Nord. That was off the stick of Costello. And he certainly would like to have that opportunity back. Perone sends it up the far side. And here comes Gottwald. Gottwald and Kirk battling it out. And a nice send away there as Manser got a stick in. 122 and counting left to go on the Oliver Eames power play. Racing up the ice, Pereira along the far side. Weinstock got in there to interfere. And it's flipped up and out of play by Perone. I think that was intentional for a little break. <laughs> well, Hill is doing a good job so far on this kill. One good shot by all range, but for the most part, the Hill has been able to keep him to the outside and broken up a few plays and able to get it down the ice. We'll have a face off in the neutral zone. Between Curtis Terry and Brad Powers for Oliver Ames. And a nice send away there. The Tigers with the man advantage for the next minute and counting. Here they come. 
There's a shot turned away. Good save there by Norridge. And it's sent up into Tigers territory. Cohen picks it up. Sends it up towards Perron. Jarrett gets the stick in there. Connor comes out of the net to set it up. 30 seconds and counting left to go in the power play is Aiden Walsh trying to steal it away. Oliver Ames on a break here. There's a shot and it's in! Russ Carroll with the wrister makes it six to five. Unreal. And Oliver Ames certainly getting their opportunities here. They're getting some good shots off and been able to get them by Norad so far. That goal comes with 5-10 left to go. Still plenty of time for the Tigers. Hillers leading 6-5. The last four goals belong to Oliver Ames. And Kyle Rogers getting a little warning from the official. Pavit Mira up against Hunter Costello. I'd say uh, tensions are getting high in this one. And uh, I'd imagine frustrations as well for the Hillers in the last few minutes. Gilbert trying to dig it out. Mira turns it up the ice towards Saporoshitz. Here comes Hamblett. Hamblett with a shot, and it's going to be wrapped up by Connor just before Rogers could get there, and then some extracurricular activity. Yeah, that really should have been a penalty there as Rogers took a shot right to the face. Yeah, I don't think they called a penalty. Well, perhaps we will have one. Let's see. They're just changing up. Nope. Very surprising. This faceoff comes with 4.49 left to go. David Mera on the faceoff. Saporoshitz, misfire. Sends it forward to Mera. Mera turns it towards the corner. Hamlet picks it up. Hamlet looking to send it out. Pops it off the boards. One timer by Saporoshitz, and it's just wide. Hamlet got a stick on it, but just deflected it to the side of the net. Mera was trying to send it back to Saporoshitz, and it was taken away. Gilbert along the far side with Perone. Gilbert turns it back towards the neutral zone. And Saporoshitz going to set it up the near side. With possession, Cohen, he'll send it over. Picked up by DeSilla. Sent it into the corner, and Gilbert's there to collect. Saporoshitz turns it up. Along the near side now, Mera. Mera looking for a shot, and it is right off of Nozolet. Trapped behind the net now. Along the corner, Gottwald. He'll send it out towards Terry. Terry flips it towards the corner. Nozilek sends it around. He was looking for Pereira. Maris sends it out one timer by Aiden Walsh, just wide. Walsh pops it off the boards, and here comes Oliver Ames. Well, not for long. A misfire there by Cohen. Mancer sends it over. Sheamus will wrap it around. Approaching three minutes left to go in this game. A six to five Hillers lead. Aiden Walsh takes a shot. And the puck still loose out in front and then Aiden Walsh puts it in. What a job by Aiden Walsh. He saw the puck come out on the rebound and got right to it to sneak it in to make it a seven to five Hillers lead. Big goal there for the Hillers. They had a great forecheck going too. Curtis Terry had a really good shift. Uh, get into the corner several times in order to keep that play in. And good play by Walsh here, just following down the middle. They will pick up that rebound and put it home to give him a two goal cushion here. That goal comes with exactly three minutes left to go in the game as Gottwald sends it up the far side. Jarrett there to collect. He'll backhand it down towards Quinlan. Pass over to DeSilla. DeSilla sends it up, and it's turned away by Norid. Jarrett. Backhanded flip towards Quinlan. Here comes Quinlan. Hillers might have a break here. Quinlan trying to get it over towards Kirk. A little misfire. 
Weinstock trying to get it out of the grasp of Gottwald. Quinlan gets in there, takes a shot, turned away. Great play by Weinstock to break that up in the neutral zone. Quinlan steals it away from DeSillo along the corner, and he's trapping the puck up against the boards, letting that time burn off the clock. And now it'll finally score it out, picked up by Gottwald. Gottwald coming up towards the neutral zone. It's stolen away by Mara. Mara along the far side. Here he comes. Backhander, no, off the side of the net. And then he's tripped up as the puck comes over to the near side corner. Saparoshitz puts it back in Olive Reims territory. And now wrapping it around is going to be Brad Powers. Saparoshitz leaving it behind for Hamlet. Hamlet along the near side corner. Jammed up along the boards. And here he comes, able to sneak out with it over to Gilbert. Gilbert approaching, takes a shot, and it's turned away and then wrapped up by Connor. Another nice shot there by the Hillers. 129 left to go in the game. Hillers up 7-5. to five. Certainly a little more comfortable at this point for the Hillers, but wow, what a comeback by Oliver Ames in this period. It looks like they'll call a timeout here now. We will indeed have a timeout. 129 left to go in the third period. And with the timeout, that gives us a chance to remind you HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton, founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003. The dentist at Hopkinton provides state of the art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Quite a game, Eric. It looked like the Hillers were just going to dominate as usual, but Oliver Ames, they had other ideas. They did, yeah, no quitting. And once they started getting to the two or three of those goals, then they really thought that they had a chance, and they just uh, they came with everything they got and made it a close game here until the end. The Hillers starting to pick it up again now. I think we'll see them play real tight defense, sort of circle the wagons here and hold Oliver Ames off here for the last couple minute and a half that we have left here. It'll be Hunter Costello on the faceoff for Oliver Ames. As the Hillers are ready to go. And on the faceoff is Joe Carraza. Carraza sends it over towards Aiden Walsh. Now Manser will put it towards the trapezoid. Picked up behind the net, sent over to the near side towards Gottwald. Gottwald racing up the ice, he has some speed as well. And now he'll, he'll pass it over, shot, turned away. And the puck's still loose, a great job by Terry getting his body in front of Costello so he couldn't get a shot off on the rebound. Sent over by Pereira, along the corner, and now trying to get it out in front, and it was turned away by Manser. One minute left to go in the game as Sheamus sends it over to the near side. Put back up in Hiller's territory by Pereira. Hamlet trying to dig it out. Oliver Ames looking for another shot. A little high there by Gottwald. And then on a secondary shot turned away. Perone with the secondary shot. Empty net for Oliver Ames. And we'll have a face off in the Hiller's defensive zone with 35 seconds left to go on the icing call. Well, if the Hillers hang on and win this game, they'll be 15-1-0 on the season. Dan Kirk on the faceoff for the Hillers, up against Russ Carroll. And it's picked up by Barnes, who will send it up the near side of Hamlet. Hamlet. And he'll take a shot on the empty net. And put it right in, the finisher for Tommy Hamlet. A smart play there by Hamlet. He saw the open net, but he wanted to make sure he gained that red line first, was able to put the puck off the boards to himself and get it inside the zone first before going for that empty net and burying it. That goal comes with 23 seconds left to go. It's now an eight to five Hillers lead. And Kirk on the faceoff, sends it back. Saparoshitz turns it around. Rogers up the far side. Well, Oliver Ames came into this game with a 5 10 and 2 record, but they certainly aren't playing like a 5 10 and 2 team. 
Pretty impressive stuff by the Tigers, hanging with the Hillers. Hamlet sends it over to Rogers. Rogers back to Hamlet. And that'll do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are going to take the win despite a scare in the third period. The Hillers do quite enough to hang on and improve to 15-1 and 0 on the season. Oliver Ames falls to 5-11 and 2 overall. Eric Surly got a little scary there in the third period. And Probably not the prettiest win of the season for the Hillers, but a win's a win. Yeah, the first two periods they had some uh, some good looks there, but again, you know, they're playing without their number one point getter and Sean Walsh and the number one goaltender out. So uh, you know, expect all the Reams to put up a good fight, and they did. So they made it a little bit close, but the Hillers were able to use their all-around good team speed and good team play to eke out the victory. Well, the Hopkinton Hillers will be back in action just a couple nights from now on Wednesday night as they will host their regular season home finale against Holliston. That game will start up at 8 p.m. And of course, you can watch it right here on the HCAM YouTube page. But for Joe Frackleton on camera, my broadcast partner, Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time. The Hopkinton Hillers take down Oliver Ames, 8 to 5. Hillers now 15, 1 and 0 on this season. That is going to do it. For Hopkinton Hillers hockey coverage on HCAM, take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Have a good night, everybody.